the biggest influence in my life as an artist would be my grandmother, who lived with us when I was four years old. And she would go to her room and she would paint in oils. And I think it was just the smell of the turpentine and the linseed oil and the fact that I thought that she was making magic. And I think that was my first influence. And of course, I love my grandmother very much. This is the result of some of her paintings. So why not? I mean, what, you, I you don't have a I don't particular have, style? There, I don't have a style. I, I go all over the place. But what kind of an artist are you? I don't know. Jack of all trades, master of absolutely nothing. <laughs> I can't define my art because I don't know. I'm still working on it. I'm just now arriving. I'm just now kind of getting there. This is after, oh, I'd say about 60 years of flirting around with it. I do something with them and I started playing and uh, I didn't seem to have any problem. I would just pick up a piece that would remind me of something and I would just build on it. Um, they just kind of spoke to me and I just moved things along and different people would come out, different things would come out. Um, I, I would say that I just let them speak to me. I just had a uh, well for instance, this one here. This one up here just um, looked like a face and so I just found another piece, made the hat and uh, I call it this one. The next one over uh, is the bird and it just happened to be a piece that had a long, looked like a long neck on it and I just elaborated on that and it looked like some kind of a goony looking bird. There's nothing uh, about these things, there's nothing sick. I was just playing and just having fun. I, I like rusty things. Uh, the reason I think that I like rusty stuff is because I was raised on a ranch that had a blacksmith shop. And there uh, were always uh, a big pile of rusty iron and scraps of metal and things. And so I have this. Maybe that's why I'm attracted to this rusty junk. I, I really like rusty junk. Two spray cans that are flattened out, and they look like eyes to me. And uh, so that became a dog. This one here uh, doesn't really have any rust in it at all. It's a gel medium that I uh, just started playing with recently. It has elements of collage in it. And, uh, I've just really been having a really good time with that. Fairy rust, which is kind of a takeoff instead of fairy dust. 
and the little guy who brought me is the rest of the dog. That was my first piece. Um, I had a lot of fun with him. The piece back here is called Cannon Fodder, and that's my protest against war because I feel like we just raise babies like Cannon Fodder. Um, we just take them and lose them up whenever they feel like it. Sometimes not for a very good cause, sometimes it's a good cause. Anyway, that's uh, the extent of what I have in here today.